Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So almost all of them know from my subscribers too that I recently switched to my new device that is Moto G71 5G. The phone have some great camera which has a triple camera of main sensor which is of 50 megapixel and one macro and also a ultra wide lens. Many of them ask me that which would be the best camera to use with the Moto G71 which can be the Google camera. So today we are going to see that how we can install Google Camera 8.6 for our Moto G71 5G. So let's see how to install it and without any further ado, let's get into it. So at the very first time as usual, you need some files. Basically a uh, only single file which is given down in description box below. So you just have to click on that link and you can see all this change log which indicates what all has been changed in this developed Gcam of version 8.6. This version is built by the BSG itself which is a popular Gcam build. Just you have to click on this hyperlink and as of now I have already downloaded this APK. I won't be again downloading it. So once you download it, you just have to navigate to your file manager and locate this apk. Over here this is the apk which has been downloaded by us and you just have to click on it and once you click, it will start getting installed. We'll click on cancel, I have already installed it. So jumping directly to our installed apk, here comes the logo of gcam 8.6. Clicking on it, you will see the smoothness of the Gcam 8.6 as soon as you open the application. You will see all the options in the Gcam which you usually get in all the Gcams which is from version 8.2 and so on. Also you will get FHD video quality of 60fps 30, 24 and also an auto. Let me tell you guys as everyone knows that the chipset of Moto G71 doesn't support 4K video recording. So by any means, don't click on the 4K 60fps option. Once you click that option, the Gcam will start crashing and you will get messed up. So make sure that you don't click on the 4K option, rest all of the options work pretty much fine and also the night mode and all the other things looks pretty good and nice. You will get each and every option like you get in pixel devices regarding the photography and you will be satisfied by it. And also now, let me show you some of the footages which I took from this camera when I first installed it. So as you can see, this is some natural photograph where it's kinda not that satisfactory as the contrast and the sharpness ratio is not that balanced. But with respect to video recording as the OIS is supported in Moto G71, you will be fully satisfied with it. Portrait shots and all the other things are pretty much balanced. So let me tell you guys, this camera cover all types of settings. Moving to the about section, you will see that it is running on the 8.6 version of Gcam. Also you will get all the other customization and configuration in it without any issues. So in my opinion, let me tell you one thing guys, if you really want to record some 60fps 1080 pixel videos then Gcam is pretty much good for you. But if you want to snap some pictures and have some good quality of pictures then you must rely on the stock camera of Moto G71 as it actually works pretty much nice and it's really really good as per my experience. So that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. Until then see you again in the next time. Peace out.